We're going to use a heavy weight. I'm using an eight, a five, and I've got a set of twos. Um, for sure, like a heavier weight and a lighter weight, either a five and a two or a eight and a four, but a heavier weight and a lightweight. You need lightweight uh, for shoulder work uh, and some arm work and heavy weights for like back work. Paper plates, if you are on my Christmas plates, <laughs> if you are on carpet and washcloths, if you are on hardwood, unless you have a set of gliders, you happen to have a set of gliders. <clears throat> I have a little ball, you can use it. We're going to do some uh, cycling Russian twists. So if you need it for support, you can use a ball or a pillow. That's optional. Make sure you have water in my band because we're doing lateral band walks today. If you don't have a band, I can give you a modification for that. Well, Karen, I think the floor is yours. It's a minute past, and uh, we'll have this up on Facebook right after class two in our group. So uh, have a great class, everybody. Uh, Karen, have a great Friday night. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. All right, you guys. We're going to start with a warm up. We're jogging or marching. You can march in place if you don't like the impact. And then we're jogging. This always makes my mat move. We're going to do a five minute warm up here. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna go to our high knees. High knees, get them up there. back to our jog. Or march. Never works. We're going to get ready here and go into skaters. Three, two, one, skaters. Up and over, take a step back. Add your hop if you want. Back to our jack or merch. in the step pulls. Make sure you're breathing. Good 
you start to get warm. Last two here, march or jog. Half jacks, or are you going to go into jumping jacks? You decide how much impact you want, or how much you need to get your heart rate up, to get yourself fully warmed up. Last two, and march jog. Nice job. All right, we are starting with our weights. I'm going to use a set of five, but you can use whatever works. And we are going to go into side lunges. Whew. Take a breath. We're going to take a step out the minute the heel hits. With a big step out, the heel hits. I'm going to start to push my booty back. Hip knee, second toe alignment in the front. I'm going to bring it back in. Take a step out and bring it back in. We need to get center. Here we go. Hopefully you can see. Oh, here we go. 30 seconds. Here we go. From this side, what it looks like. Nice straight back. One long line from the back of your head to your crick crack. Weights on both sides of the knee. Take a step out, the heel hits, push your booty back. Halfway there. We're alternating. Eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Try to get that foot forward. Five, four, three. Two and one, bring it center. I'm gonna pick up a heavier weight. You can use your cans, your milk uh, jugs, or water jugs. Here we go, feet are hip distance, hip hinge back, keep those abs in. Shoulder blades are back and down, tummy's tight, and we're pulling. Exhale in on the pull, quicker on the way up, so we're on the way down. Last one, here we go. Squeeze your glutes and bring yourself up. We're back to side lunges. I'm gonna switch up to my little fives. Here we go, take a big step out on the right and bring it back up. The minute the heel hits, push your booty back. One long line from the back of my head to my tail. Push off on that foot and push off. 30 seconds. Halfway there. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Eight, seven, alternating, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it center. 
bent over rows. I'm switching my weights out, grabbing my heavier ones. You can use the same. There you go, tummy's tight. Hip hinge back, feet are hip distant, distant apart, abs are in. And we're pulling, so we're on the way down. Shoulder blades back and down. Feel it in your low back, pull those abs in tighter, maybe get lighter weights. Last one. Squeeze your glutes, bring yourself up. Last round for side lunges. Here we go. I grab two different weights. <laughs> Here we go. Take a step out, heel hits, push through the heel, bring it back up. <sighs> Inhale out, heel hips, hips, knee, second toe. <sighs> 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 20. Inhale over, <sighs> exhale, push it up. 17, 16. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, keep your abs in, nice straight back, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, nice job, rows, last round, feet are hip distance, tummy's tight, hip hinge back, Tummy's tight, and we're pulling. Keep those shoulder blades back and down. Exhale on you pull, quicker on the way up, so we're on the way down. We're at your own pace. Some will go faster, some will go slower. Last one here. Tummy's tight, squeeze your glutes, bring yourself up. Perfect. Ooh, quick little water break if you need it. We're coming on down to the mat. We're gonna go into a plank here. You can roll down and walk out, or just bring yourself on down. Let's start with an elbow plank. Elbows are ground, down directly underneath of the shoulders. Shoulder blades are back and down. And you're up. Here we go on your toes. 30 seconds. No popping your buns up. Bring it down. If you have to push your buns up, then you probably need to bring the knees down. Drop the hips. 25 seconds. Stay up out of your shoulders. No sagging in between the shoulder blades. We're halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees down. Give yourself a quick little break and bring yourself over. We're on cycling Russian twists. I'm gonna grab my little four. This is where you can use your ball for support if you need it. You can always modify by doing your Russian twist with the feet down as well. All right, here we go. Shoulder blades are back and down, abs are in. I'm gonna inhale here and on the exhale, I'm gonna hinge back. No rounding in the low back. I'm gonna lift my right leg and lift my left leg. So cycling Russian twist is so I'm gonna send the left leg long. I'm gonna rotate to the right. Inhale, exhale, switch. Right leg long, left leg bent. Here we go, 30 seconds. Inhale over, exhale, center. Woo, last one, and 
set your feet down. Flip it over, we're on push-ups. Hands are underneath of the shoulders. Fingertips are forward. You're either in full push-up position, up on your toes, or down on the knees. Here we go. Tummy's tight. You can inhale, flex the elbows in a 45, and exhale, push. Inhale, lower, and push, 30 seconds. Keep those abs in, 20. Halfway there. And one, bring it up. Brush yourself back. Give yourself a quick little break. Bring yourself up. And you're on cycling Russian twist. Again, you can always just go to a straight Russian twist if you want. Nice and tall, tummy's tight. I'm going to hinge back here. Keep my abs in and lift. Inhale here. Exhale, left leg long. Inhale over. Exhale. So inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, Ugh. and bring it down. Push ups. Flip yourself over. Give yourself a quick little breath here. And here we go. Hands are underneath the shoulders, and the fingertips are forward. Tummy's tight. The Russian twists are making my pants slide down. There <laughs> we go. Inhale lower and push. Twenty seconds. Four, three, two, and one. I'm going to cheat on that last one. Give yourself a little break. And we're going back into those cycling twists. All right, here we go. You got your weight nice and tall, shoulder blades are back and down. Hands back. Lift the right foot up and the left foot up. Abs are in. And you're going to inhale over. Exhale, center. Inhale, exhale. 30 seconds. Ten seconds. Seven. Five. Two. Oh, last one. And set it down. Ooh, nice job. All right, we are up. Um, let's bring it over, actually. And let's go into brush prep, too, while we're down here. Oh. I think we're on push-ups. Here we set. You guys gotta keep me honest. Hands are underneath the shoulders, shoulder blades are back and down. Fingers forward, tummies tight. Here we go. Inhale lower and push. Last set. Eighteen. 
Hips are in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Push it up, quick little shell stretch. Oh, take an inhale and an exhale. Now bring yourself down. And we're on those breaststroke prep twos. We're going into skydivers and swimming. All right, arms along to the side of the body and the palms are uh, facing the thighs. Legs are hip distance apart and you can leave them parallel. Round your shoulders towards the mat. Zip up your abs, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, roll the shoulder blades back and down, get wide through the collarbone. Keep those glutes, glutes and abs in. Exhale, lift. Last rib stays in contact with the mat, head follows the spine. Little breath into the back and sides of the rib cage. Exhale, set it down, round. Inhale, roll the shoulder blades back and down. Zip your abs, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, lift. Inhale, stay a little breath. Exhale, set it down, round the shoulders. Inhale, roll the shoulder blades back and down, zip your abs, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, lift. Last rib stays in contact, breathe in. Exhale, set it down, round the shoulders. Perfect. We're going into skydivers. Arms are out into a football bowl pose position. We have a 90 degree bend in the uh, elbows. I'm gonna open the legs wider than the shoulders and I'm gonna laterally rotate. So the big toe is down, baby toe is towards the ceiling. I'm gonna zip my abs, squeeze my glutes. If this isn't in your wheelhouse or you have back issues, you're probably gonna to wanna to stay with the breaststroke prep too. Inhale here, breathe in. I'm zipped and squeezed, and I'm gonna exhale, lift, like I'm skydiving. Inhale here at the top. Exhale, set it down. Inhale here, breathe in, zip, squeeze. Exhale, lift. Inhale, stay. And exhale, set it back down. Inhale, breathe in, zip, grab, squeeze your butt. Exhale, lift. Keep your eye line down, no cranking your head up. Inhale here, breathing into the back and side of the rib cage. Exhale, set it down. Arms are out in front. In alignment with the shoulders, we're going to bring the legs and hip distance apart and laterally rotated. You're in a narrow X position. You're going to zip your abs, squeeze your butt. Inhale here, breathe in. Again, you can always go with breaststroke prep number two as a modification. Exhale, lift your arms and legs, and it's right hand, left leg, left hand, right. Right hand, left, left hand, right. Here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, four. In, and exhale, in, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Superwoman arms and legs are reaching. Set it down. Push yourself back and into a shelf stretch. Whew. Feet together, knees apart if you want. Press yourself into a shell and bring yourself up. I need a tissue, sorry guys. All right, we're up. We're gonna start with some small jumps. Or right, let's start with um, quick feet. All right, so we're gonna quarter squat here, hip hinge back. Abs are in one long line from your head to your tailbone. And it's in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Here we go. 30 seconds. Pick up the pace. The more advanced, you should be really kicking it out here. As fast as you can move. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Grab your bands. Mine's already set up. If you need to tie yours, go ahead and grab it and get yourself tied up there. You're going to tie it around the bottom of your thighs here, just above the knees. We're going into lateral band walks. Two, 
should be pretty tight. No more than a fist distance in between and tying it up pretty tight. All right, here we go. Two to three each side, right? Two or three to each side. I'm doing two because I'm in the smaller little screen here. All right, 27, 26, 25. Hold your little quarter squat. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 1. Bring it up. We're going into squats. Keep the feet hip distance apart. You're going to hip hinge back. You can grab weights if you want. You're going to squat and bring it in. Squat and bring it in. Here we go. 30 seconds. Hip hinge back. Drop your booty. One long line. Keep your chest up. Inhale on the way down. Exhale up. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Hip knee, second toe here. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring it up. Lateral band rocks. Here we go. Hip hinge back, abs are in, two to each side, four, three. Again, if this isn't, you don't have a band, you can either go through the, um, the movement pattern with nothing. You can do clamshells on the floor. You can do side leg lift series on the floor. You can do little squats and side leg lifts if you'd like. <laughs> Get my mojo going. Keep those absent. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 8, 6, 5, my countenance a little high, 3, 2, 1. Nice job. We're on small jumps. You can always use quick feet as a modification if the impact isn't in your wheelhouse. And a quarter squat here. Dummies tight, hip hinge back. Inhale here, breathe in, exhale. My toes just leave the mat and I come back. If you're more advanced, you're gonna pick up the pace. Here we go. And we're going 30 seconds. Make sure you bend the knees on the way down so you are absorbing the impact. Eight, seven, six, five, woo, four. Two, one. Nice job. Lateral band rocks. Two or three to each side. Here we go. Make sure you're breathing. If you need to take a break, take it. Don't get too overheated. When you're doing these workouts, you find it's better to have some skin showing so that you can. Have some of the heat come out. 19, 18, 17, 16, 18, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it back in. Nice job. Take your bands off. Water break if you need it. We're going into a little bit of floor work. 
kind of a little bit upsy downsy here today. All right, I'm gonna grab my little four pounds. We've got an overhead lap pull glute bridge, and then we're gonna go into some core work. Whew. All right, we're down. Knees are flexed and the feet are down. Pull yourself down. Got my little weights, abs are in. I'm gonna bring the heels closer to my buns. I'm gonna reach the arms overhead. Don't pop that rib cage. Keep those obliques connected. Hip knee, second toe alignment. Straight arms. So extend the elbows. Inhale here. Exhale, squeeze your butt, push the hips. Pull the weight right up over the shoulders. And you're gonna set it all back down. Exhale, pull, squeeze, lift. And set it back down, 30 seconds. You can always use two twos. You have a little less uh, stability in the shoulders when you're using individual weights as opposed to if you're holding just one. You might feel this in your hamstrings as well. Five seconds. Four. Three, two, and one. Nice job. I'm gonna bring my weight up and set it down. Rock myself up. I'm grabbing my gliders on my paper plates. I'm gonna fold my mat, mat up a little bit. So I got some room. And the feet are on your paper plates or your washcloths. And we are going into set of mountain climbers here. Shoulder blades are back and down. Hands are underneath of the shoulders. Tummy is tight. And you're going to pop yourself up into that plank position. Here we go. You're going to draw the right knee in and the left knee. No bouncing around like this. Keep that low back stable. 30 seconds. One. Whew, set it down. That's a quad burner. Whew, all right. Ten second little break. We are going into plank in and out. So we got our mat folded up. Here we go. Elbows are down directly underneath the shoulders. You set your gliders or whatever you're using for gliders. Tummy's tight. I'm going to pop it up. There we go. We're gonna separate the legs and bring it together. Inhale out, exhale center. No bouncing around like this. Move back, keep it stable. 30 seconds. Pelvic floor, inner thighs, abs and glutes. Three, two, one. Woo! Set it down. Give yourself a break. Oh. You can get rid of your gliders or your makeshift gliders. Man is long. And you guys are over on your backs. Woo! It's a little core segment here. All right, let's go into some roll-ups. Legs are long, toes are to the ceiling. Hip distance apart. Arms are up, and then drop the arms overhead. Keep your oblique connection, don't pop the rib cage. Roll up, press, inhale, arms up, exhale, flex, look at the feet. Bring yourself back and release. Here we go, inhale up. Peel off, vertical pelvis round over. Inhale, roll back, tuck under. 
Vertical pelvis round over. Inhale, begin to roll back. Tuck your bones under. Inhale up, nod. Exhale, peel off. Vertical pelvis round over. Inhale, roll back. Tuck lower back, middle back up. We need to get some articulation through the spine. Two more, guys. Last one. And roll it back down. Bend the knees and bring them in. We are going into ankle taps. Bring the heels closer, arms along, palms are down. Inhale, breathe in, nod the chin, exhale, flex. Side bend to the right, side bend to the left. Tap in the malleolus. Here we go. 30 seconds. I land on the knees. Keep your own chin there. And if you need to, bring your right and left leg into tabletop, crisscross at the ankles. If you need support for the low back, palms down, hands underneath. If not, hold the hands, bring the back of the hands to the forehead. No popping or jerking in the upper traps or the cervical spine, the neck. Here we go. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. Engage those abs. It's not the legs that sending it over, it's the abs pulling it up. We'll say 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I hook the ankles and place those feet down. We're going into a quick hundred here. We can be down, tabletop, or legs on that 45. Imprint if you need to, tabletop. Inhale here, lengthen the back of the neck, nod point forward. Here we go. Exhale, two, three, four, five, in. And out, two, three, four, nine, in. And out, two, three, four, eight, in. And out, two, three, four, seven, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, woo, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, tabletop, and release. Oh, all right. Roll yourself to the side. Rock yourself up. And we are going into L raises. I'm going to grab my little light weight. And we're up. Shoulder blades are back and down. Tummy's tight and we're lifting. 
One hand directly in front of the shoulder, the other arm out to the side like you're shaking a hand. Thumbs up to the ceiling. You'll know that your wrist is in the right position. We're not down, we're not palms up. Shaking hands. Try not to rotate. Exhale on the lip, control it on the way down. Three, two, and one, switch sides. Shoulder blades are back and down, and we're lifting. Keep those abs in. Shaking hands. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. You really don't need any heavier weight than maybe a four. You're a man, maybe a five. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch on sides. Tummy's tight and one left in 30 seconds. Nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen. Work at a pace that works. If you feel like you're oh, you gotta sling the weight, get rid of it, dump it off. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switching sides. Tummy's tight and we're lifting. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24. Shoulder muscles are pretty small. You want to be careful. Not to overdo it. 18, 17, 16. 15, 14, 13, 12, exhaling on the lift, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whoa. One more. Here we go, and we're lifting. 25, 24, right up to shoulder height, no higher. 10 seconds. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh, they should be warm. Switch inside. Shoulder blades are back and down. Abs are pulled in. 30 seconds. 25, 24, 23. Control the weight on the way down. 20. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna switch up a little heavier weight. I'm gonna grab my fives. We're going into bicep curls. You can even use a heavier weight, an eight, maybe six, seven, eight. Palms are forward, tummy's tight, and we're curling. 30 seconds, quicker on the way up, slower on the way down, palms up. Keep those abs in. It's 20. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We're going into tricep kickbacks. You can use a little up to maybe a set of four pound weights. Five. I got my little twos. 
Hemis tight. I'm going to hip hinge back, abs are hip distant, shoulder blades are back and down. I'm going to row, keep that long line from my head to my crick crack, and I'm going to extend the elbow. You can get those elbows up so that the back of your arm is more parallel to the ceiling, and then squeeze the triceps as you kick it back. Keep those abs in 30 seconds. Control it as it starts to flex. Don't just let gravity push it back. 19, 18, 17, 16. Abs are tight. Shoulder blades are back and down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Squeeze the back of the arm. 3, 2, and 1. Squeeze your glutes. Bring yourself up. Bicep curls, here we go. Shoulder blades are back and down, and we're curling. 30 seconds. You're only moving as fast as what you can keep form. You can go at a little quicker pace if you can control it on the way down. Keep good form. Anywhere between, I would say, 8 to 15 repetition is more than enough, depending on how heavy a weight you have. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and last one. And bring it back. Bicep kickbacks. Here we go. Feet are hip distant. Abs are in. Thumbies tight. Roll it back. Hold it back. You're wide through the clavicle, through your collarbone. Kick it back. 28, 27. Exhale on the kick back. Those abs in, shouldn't feel it in your low back. You can always come to a standing overhead triceps if you do feel it in your low back, right? Stagger. 18, 17, 16, 5, 4, 3, 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Squeeze your glutes, bring it up. Last one. Bicep curls. Palms forward, shoulder blades back and down. Abs are in. Here we go. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Last one for our tricep kickbacks. We're going to do some stretching. Feet are hip distance, hip hinge. Roll back, abs are in, shoulder blades are back and down. 30 seconds. 20, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Ooh. You can set your weights down. My last, we're going to go into some quad stretches here. You can hang on to something if you need assistance. I'm going to go right up against my bench. Reach back, grab that ankle, draw your heel up towards your butt. So it looks like, oh, ha -ha. Keep that knee in alignment with the hip. Balance. Yeah. Pull up out of that supporting you. Switch inside. Reach back. 
and you're standing. Oh, my legs are shaking. It's good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, okay. Inhale, reach the arms up. Now the chin, exhale, flex forward. Oh, reach for the floor. Get those hamstrings. Bend the knees if you need to. Here we go. Bend the left knee, the right knee, the left knee, your right knee, the left knee, and the right knee. Keep flexing. Right knee, left knee, right knee, left knee. Last one, right knee, left knee. Bend both knees, straight. Bend both knees, straight. Bend both knees, straight. Bend both knees, straight. Last one, bend both knees, straight. Bend the knees, abs are in. Inhale here. Exhale, begin to roll up. Straighten the knees, stack the spine, lower back, middle back, upper back. You're going to reach the left arm out. Grab the below the elbow and you're going to pull it across. And we're switching. Blow the elbow, pull it across. We're going to go over a couple minutes. We'll start a couple minutes late. Reach one hand behind. Tummy's tight. Grab the elbow. Keep those abs in. As you pull the elbow back, lengthen up through the spine. Don't come into extension here. Keep those abs in. Switch sides. Abs are in. You can either hang on to something or find a chair. Or you can even do it on the floor where you're lying down. Right knee, right knee, right ankle over the left knee. Sit and tall, you can hinge forward, stretch out the side there, your abductors. If you're on the mat, you're gonna thread through and hold it. Switch sides. Thread through, grab it. And pull that right against the chest. To feel it all along the outside there. And release. I'm gonna rock myself up. And you guys are all set. <laughs> Nice job, everybody. Good workout. Thanks for coming to play. Awesome class as usual, Karen. You guys have a good weekend. Thanks for attending. Have a good weekend, everybody. <laughs> Take, care. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.